Welcome to Heart Home Community's most recent Baldwinsville Community Update. I'm your host, Shelly Hoff. Hey everybody, Shelly Hoffman. It's been a while since I've done one of these community updates and I'm excited because I have uh, Kevin Murrow from Parks and Rec and Lysander with me and he's got a special guest with him. So Kevin, I'm going to let you introduce this Absolutely. young lady here. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Shelly. Uh, Kevin Murrow with uh, Lysander Parks and Recreation. And we're here with uh, Rachel Gleason of uh, Challenge Island of CNY. She's going to uh, tell us all about Challenge Island and the camps that she's bringing to uh, Lysander Park this summer. Which is awesome. I mean, when I look at the park and what you've done to the park since you've been here, I know Tony did a lot to get it going. We have the water park, but there's so much for the community to do. And now this is just one more um one more thing for our community to enjoy, and I'm excited to hear about it myself. So tell us a little bit about what you do, Rachel. Hi, hi everyone. Um, so I am newly in the position of director at, at Challenge Island CNY. Um, I am pretty local to the area. I grew up in Elbridge. Um, nice. So, uh, you know, I, I know the area well. <laughs> um, so, so, yeah, so Challenge Island is a uh, hands-on project-based um, STEM, STEAM program um, that is, I mean, it's just incredible. Uh, there, there's there's so much to it. Um, I know you said before we got started that it's international. It's not just something that we're doing here in the Baldwinsville community or the Onondaga County community. You're saying this is all over, correct? Yeah, yeah. so the founder is... Um, based out of Atlanta, Georgia, where corporate is, and then it's uh, franchised out. Um, and it's, yeah, it's across the United States. It's, it's international. It's, um, it's everywhere. And it's really um, done an incredible job of tying in all uh, core curriculum, state, you know, testing, um, all of it, you know, it, everything touches on what kids are learning in school without them feeling like they're learning. So if I look at this sheet that you gave me, there's a couple, there's like a breakdown. There's some in Ju July um, and August. Is there, so the first one that I'm looking at says Fort Island Camp. Can you tell us a little bit about what that camp is? Yes. Yeah, so uh, as a lot of parents know, um, I am a mom of three kids, but I will be honest, um, I'm kind of still behind <laughs> on the on the, the new games, the new things oh, that are yes. out. Um, but it is Fort Island Camp is based off off of Fortnite, which I know is the, is a big <laughs> is a big game now. I'm sure some parents are either rolling their eyes or saying, "Oh, did you see my eyes rolling?" <laughs> <laughs> there were some dances that my kids used to do. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yep. yes my eight year old loves to floss. <laughs> she should see her dad try to do it. Oh boy. Um, yeah. So. Uh, a lot of our camps, um, they, we want to tie in what kids want to see and want to do. Um, so, you know, for Fort Island, for, um, for example, it's, it's all Fortnite based, you know, and for, for copyright, you know, we can't say Fortnite, but uh, Challenge Island has put their own little spin on, on how to take ideas and take, you know, um, the pieces of that people are, or kids are playing in the game and bringing it to real life because we are completely screen free. Um, uh -huh. There is really no technology. The most technology we use in a camp is a speaker for, for music. Um, so for this week, you know, the kids will come in and they'll do the whole week will be Fort Island uh, themed, but they'll do something different every single day. Um, and for all the camps that we're running, which is going to be six straight weeks of camp, um, they're half day, three hour programs. Okay. And for those three hours, the kids will stay engaged and stay doing something the entire time. There is no time for, they won't, they don't want to sit and do nothing. It, they will want to stay and want to continue to do stuff. What is the ages that can come to the camps or is it different depending on the camp? Um, so for all of these camps, we typically say ages six to 14. Oh, wow. Nice. Um, but, you know, I know that um, I was approached for our uh, second week of camp, which is going to be Harry Potter themed, uh, ah. which is our most popular. And it is almost Steamworks. full. Steamworks. Steamworks. Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but I know I, I had someone contact me to uh, ask me if their five-year-old could um, come and do it. And, you know, we want as many kids to be involved as possible. And if it's just a matter of maybe changing a little bit of the curriculum to make it a little easier on them or buddying them up with a sibling or, you know, just get, as long as we know, we can 100% incorporate them and make sure that they're just as engaged, but at their level still. At these camps, are there different groups based on age or will the 14-year-olds be with the five-year-olds? So we like to, so for every camp, um, the kids will be divided into STEAM teams. 
And usually, you know, that's dependent on the number of kids. So sometimes it'll be three kids, four kids, five kids, um, typically no more than five kids per group because it kind of gives everybody the opportunity to stay hands on and no mm-hmm. one has a chance to be left out. Um, and we'll, um, my t- our teachers are trained to kind of um, read the kids and they kind of can get a sense of um, who to put together kind of thing. Um, we do try to mix the ages because I think that gives us the best, you know, we don't want a group of six-year-olds working on the same project as our group of 14-year-olds okay. because not only are the outcomes going to be really different, but the level of thought put into it, you know, we want those six-year-olds to be learning and, and listening to what the 14-year-olds have to say and bringing that knowledge to them because that's how kids learn. They learn off of watching and doing with yeah. each other, not, you know, if everyone's at the same level, it's, it's a lot of going off of each other, but not expanding. And that's, that's Challenge Island. We want our kids to expand. You know, our, our big saying is engineering meets imagination because truly, I mean, kids are, are, we want them to take things to the next level. There's no wrong way to do something. You know, they learn about the engineering process. They learn uh, leadership, public speaking, all of that, but there's no, um, you know, it's structured, but unstructured. You know, we they don't realize they're their being they're, they don't realize they're being taught because they're exactly. too busy having fun. Right? Exactly. And and all of our camps, you know, the takeaway from Fort Island or Steam Warts that are, you know, those big, you know, names that kids know, Harry Potter, Fortnite, and then we have a Minecraft or a Mine Island running. Um, but you know, take that too, and we have Road Trip USA that's gonna be running. That's our third camp. I saw that. What is Road Trip USA? So they're gonna Do I get to come? I'm just <laughs> please, no, please. We would love please stop in and visit. Stop in, come come a day. Um so yeah, through the week they will um visit visit a different state every day. Um and you know, we won't make it through all 50 states, but you know, uh they'll um I believe one of them is they'll travel to San Francisco and learn about the Golden Gate Bridge oh, nice. and then they'll build a bridge. You know, then that's the real life connection part of it. And that's where every single thing and every challenge that the kids are given will have a real life connection because that's how kids learn. They, they need to go out of it knowing that, wow, that I can connect that to what is in the real world. Yeah. You know, a lot of kids come out of math class and say, when am I going to do that? Right. You know, you know, and I'm not sure I've used algebra yet. I'm just throwing that out. <laughs> well, <laughs> exactly. And, and, you know, kids might come out of this and not go and build a bridge in their, in their future, but, but they, know they got to, they know how to, they know the engineering process. They know how to work together as a team to make it happen. They know what their strengths were, what the weaknesses were. They learned from the other groups of what worked for them, what didn't. And, you know, it's so funny to see these kids be given, you know, everyone's given the same challenges, whether it's one challenge, two challenges, um, you know, and they work through it with their team, but you will go over to every single bridge and you will see something di- completely oh, yeah. different. And it would get being given the same materials, the same curriculum, everything. And they will be so different from each other because every kid puts their own spin on it. And, you know, and that's, that's, what's awesome to see is those light bulbs that go off when they realize, wow, that worked or that didn't work. You know, Mm -hmm. how can we work together differently to make, make it better? I think that's, what's so great about the, the steam programs anyway. And, you know, obviously we have some in Baldwinsville, Mm -hmm. uh, my daughter had made something and you actually watch it come to life, right? Mm-hmm. The, the light lights up. So to build the bridge and everybody's was different and it, there's no right or wrong way to do it, exactly. which is also important for them and, to learn. And that's exactly it is. It's not a competition. We're not looking to see who built the best bridge. We're looking to see who built what and what worked and what didn't, yeah. you know, and that's where, you know, these, these summer camps, you know, during the summer months, kids, one, they don't want to be in school, obviously. They want to be doing something that's maybe relaxed, you know. They don't they don't want to think they're learning. Right. And that's where they can come to these camps and they're engaged for the entire time, you know, nine times out of ten. They're not going to want to leave at the end of the day. And the best part of this is, you know, if we have, um, say the kids have six challenges to, to finish in a day, if they realize, you know, if the teacher realizes two or three challenges in that the kids are really just having a great time, like they finished building their bridges, but what can we do to expand on that further? You know, there's no, nothing to say that we have to finish everything that was scheduled for our day. If the kids are really engaged in something, let's see how we can expand that even further and get them to to just bring it to life. But, you know, we do more and more and more with it. Well, that's also um, to your point is not having that curriculum, right? Yeah. Because in schools, you have to like the teachers have to hit yep, certain things. Yes. Whereas if you, kids are expected to 
to hand in something at the end of the day kind of thing. Yeah. And at Challenge Island, you know, um, a lot of the times the kids won't necessarily come home with a project because we do use um, majority of recycled materials. We use things over. Um, there's a lot of duct tape, which we don't use that over, but there is a <laughs> lot of duct tape that we use. Um, but uh, paper plates, plastic cups, pipe cleaners, you know, anything at the end of the day that either hasn't been used or can be taken back apart and put back, we will use for the next day or the next camp. Um, so, you know, the kids get to learn too that they can make something and it, it and they a lot of kids get the satisfaction of, of then taking it apart say, because <laughs> as they take it apart, they, they realize, wow, if I had moved this over here, maybe sure. that would have had a different outcome, you know, and that's, yeah. that's, the best part of that too is just watching watching them come to those realizations. Um, so I was looking at where it says Island Tube Fever, and I, I did figure out um, you know, the mind island, the steam warts, but island tube fever, what that what is that one about? Is that creating videos? Not that I have anything to do with videos, because <laughs> I might pop in on that one. But. So yeah, similarly. <laughs> and you know, again, and um, we've got arcade mania too, and people, you know, when we say it's screen free, it's no technology, and then you see arcade mania and island tube fever, that you're like, what? How does that make sense? <laughs> right. Um, so again, it's it's tying in those things that kids get that are exposed to every day. Kids use YouTube in school all the time for things. Um, so the kids will get to, they make um, like big posters that get to be their camera and then their background or, you know, an Instagram frame. And then they get to make um, like little, little videos behind it. And we do, we do offer to them, you know, our teachers can record it for them, um, you know, via phone. And then the kids get to watch it over, see what they get to do differently. But, you know, that camp is a lot of, you know, public speaking and, you know, in learning how to engage behind a, a familiar platform, you know, without exposing them to it, if that makes sense, and making it, you know, the fun pieces of that. But also, you know, pe some parents will think, well, how do you bring in STEM to that? And it, it's incredible to see just how versatile you can make, you know, a STEM program and make it relate to kids. Oh, absolutely. And and also you're teaching them the components of stuff that they really do need to learn how the, the working of it, but it's done in an environment that's safe, that's going to show exactly. them the proper way of doing it. Exactly. Because you can't, as a society, we're, it's there, you know, mm -hmm. the YouTube videos, the the screen time, whether you like it or not. And our... Um, it's not even YouTube anymore. It's... TikTok? Snapchat and TikTok. Yeah. You know. Yep. We, and that's... We, we talk about YouTube, but that's... That's, that's kind of a thing of the past. That's so old <laughs> Come on, guys. Don't make me feel old here. No, you're right. I mean, to add... Uh, TikTok, I, I do a lot with different things. And, and even in, um, you know, my industry of real estate, it's TikToks, you know, the, yeah. the, the not even just younger, like all of them, but that's where a lot of people go to for the platforms. Yeah. Um, but it is nice that you're incorporating because you can't ignore it. It's part of their lives. No, but like you said, we want to, you know, we want to bring it to them in a safe and and fun way mm -hmm. and, you know, kind of make kids realize like you don't have to be looking at a screen to have fun. You know, you can, you you're given all these materials to create something that you would usually just oh, yeah, sit scroll. and scroll on, mm -hmm. you know, it's yeah. way more fun. And some kids will, you know, maybe put their nose up to it and think, oh, you know, there's no way. But once they get going, it's, they'll, it's pretty. They'll enjoy it. Yes. yes. How does, um, how does somebody sign up for this, Kevin? I'm assuming they do it so, for you. Actually, yes and no. Oh. Um, so we have our live fly uh, the, the flyer um and we'll link that um you can you were going to link this afterwards mm -hmm. yep it'll be on so this video. but um our uh live information is on um Lysand on facebook on lysander parks and recreation and also on the town of lysander's website that's uh, town of lysander.org and it would be backslash parks that'll bring you directly to the parks department page and um the the flyer itself is live. I guess we could. I was going to say, let's see if I can up go slightly. up here. All right. So that is live on uh, on the website, not on Facebook. Here. And if they click on that um, on the the link that's incorporated in this flyer, it'll bring them directly to uh, the website for Challenge Island CNY and to the registration format through Challenge Island CNY. Nice. Yep. And that's also on our Facebook, just Challenge Island CNY. 
Um, and also, you know, I've been um, working on putting out newsletters um, at least twice a month. So um, we also have right on our Facebook um, a pinned post at the top where you can sign up for our newsletters. And um, that kind of better incorporates. Um, I have links for um, all of these camps that'll bring you directly to the one that you want to sign up for. You can sign <laughs> up for one. You can sign up for all. There's there's no limit. The um, the other question I have is obviously we're talking about this summer, but since it says Challenge Island summer camps, oh, you do can't. Do you, does CNY have camps for other seasons, like uh, Christmas break, like winter break, any of those? Yeah, yeah. So well? Challenge Island is definitely not just for summer. Um, okay. We will be conducting a second uh, field trip for just this year at um, Palmer Elementary. I'll be doing that on the 31st, I believe it is, oh um, for the second graders. And I conducted a field trip for the fourth graders back in March. Um, so we do in-school field trips, we do birthday parties, we do Girl Scout workshops, uh, we do family night events, um, and then, you know, camps, since we're new to the area, you know, we wanted to see how this summer went and get people involved and really knowing our name, hearing about it. Um, but, you know, that's not to say we're not going to come back for February break, Christmas break, uh, spring break, you know, we could do mini camps for over Thanksgiving break, um, days off of school, you know, we really can come in any time a facility wants us and create something fun, and, whether it be one hour, three hours. That's a lot of program opportunities that, that I with Lysander Parks and Recreation will be looking to work with Challenge Island to do not just a summer program, you yeah. know, because we, we want to eventually offer programs that are year round. Um, but as, as Rachel is describing Challenge Island of CNY, she, these aren't, She's not just at Lysander Park either. No, I've I mean, got she's over. She's got programs. Yeah, I've got at, over thirty uh, programs that'll be nice. running this yep, summer. That are going to be yeah. at Cicero and at Clay. Um, these are opportunities for the various school districts in Central New York. She's already done um, a, uh, which I think she could tell more about it, but a, a, a program um, through Palmer Elementary. So, you know, whether it's an after school enrichment program or she comes in during the day for an hour as part of a class, um, there's a lot that she can do with these STEM programs to bring bring yes. them to whether it be schools. And she's even mentioned, you know, that, you know, a, a parent, if she's got, if got a child or children that is interested in STEAM and, or, and it doesn't even really have to be STEAM or STEM, it's just it's just having fun, just learning something exactly in a different, different way. In, yeah. in a different way, exactly. Um, where she hosts birthday parties, she can bring a birthday party to you. So yeah, and and Challenge Island isn't just for kids either. Uh, like I said, we do family nights, and um, from my experience in uh, the field trips that I've conducted, you you will find the teachers just as engaged. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, the adults have fun, but we even we do <coughs> senior programming for um, senior citizens. We do um, corporate um, team building workshops. You know, anybody can use us. I mean, there's a way mm -hmm. to make it fun for everybody. everybody. I mean, yeah. And, and you know, you don't, it's funny to think, you know, maybe a therapist or an engineer is watching this and saying, what do you mean? You would come to my job and put a bunch of us together in a room and Yes. Yep. Yes. And, and you would I, like I will. it. And you will you like, will like it. it. And you will have fun. <laughs> and you will, you will, you know, maybe be in touch with your inner child, I guess. And, you know, but it's uh, the biggest thing I like to um, kind of push is, you know, being a mom of three. I love being able to engage and do things with my kids and, and watching them and those light bulbs go off for right. them. And I, you know, it's getting parents to understand too, is you can have that fun with your kids. Right. And, and we want you to, especially here at Challenge Island, we want to see you have that fun. You, you can have that same light bulb. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Probably kids would do better than, right. than I would. I am. Right. Well, our, our light bulbs have not gone out yet. <laughs> <laughs> I asked that question because you mentioned going to the Facebook page and, um, and looking at the newsletter. Yeah. So obviously with the newsletter, I thought you have to have more to offer than Lysander Park, just these camps. Yeah. I've so, got, um, but it was way more than I anticipated even. Yeah. Know, I've got Lysander. I've got Clay running a few. I have a um, just an afternoon program running in Cicero for six weeks um, that, you know, if if you have kids right here in Baldensville that want 
um, that parents want to get them to just an afternoon program. You know, I've got one running from 315 to 515 for six weeks um, through Cicero Parks and Rec. I've got um, Skinny Atlas, Elbridge, uh, Tully. Um, I have a couple private events happening in Auburn, you know, and that's the thing is not everything is going to be public registration either. You know, we Mm -hmm. have private events. Um, We kind of just make it work for anybody. You know, if you have a group of kids, um, we do homeschooling programs. I mean, it really, it's, it's for everybody. (laughs) You know, it's so versatile, you know, it, there well, is it, something for everybody. And it's perfect. I mean, it's perfect for all the places you mentioned, but I just having the relationship with Kevin um, and conversations we've had in the past. I mean, this is exactly what you're looking yep. for to bring to Lysander. Absolutely. So um, to have that, this Absolutely. relationship and you'll yeah. find, I mean, the other parks are great too, but I am biased. I will tell you that Baldwinsville <laughs> probably has the best park, so yeah. it'll be the best program. But, yeah. um, but this is, this is really neat. And um, it's more than I thought. And I just want to throw this out there because you did try and do it previously um, but but COVID had hit. You talked about that. Um, yes, the so owner is- Terry had um, had brought the franchise here in 2019, and then COVID hit, and um, uh, the you know corporate was able to bring in a lot of virtual um, camps. I mean, we were they were still able to bring it to kids, which was incredible. You know, we still offer some virtual. You know, we always have the option if if the facility wants to do virtual oh, stuff. Yeah. Um, a lot of we do sometimes like Girl Scout workshops virtually for, you know, we cover Cuga and Onondaga County. And, you know, that's a very large area that sometimes it's if I can't get a teacher, I can't get up there, you know, um, we, we make it work. You know what I mean? But um, this year you said you have no restrictions. But yeah, this is our first summer where we're going in with no COVID restrictions. Um, nice. People want to get their kids out. People want to do stuff. Uh, kids want to be out. You know, we're back to kids can really interact with each other. And, you know, we're not wearing masks. We're not wearing face shields, things like that. Um, so I think that's why this is such going to be such a great summer to bring this program. And I want the parent feedback. You know, if we were to come back next summer, what do you want to see? Do you want to see longer camps? Do you want to see different camps? You know, what's the interest? What can we do to make this better? Nice. And registration is current, right? It's registration is open now. And uh, so the links through the uh, Lysander Parks and Rec Facebook page um, is a flyer. Um, it doesn't direct them to the to the registration to CNY, but it does have the at least the, the, the website URL that will okay. take them. And then yeah. our flyer uh, on the uh, town's website um, which again was uh, townoflysander.org. Um, that is a live flyer. So if they click on the link on that flyer, it takes them directly to uh, Challenge Island uh, of CNY. Yep, and you'll and get to I see. The mo- I'm sorry. Uh, no, you're fine. The, the most important thing I, I, I think that parents should understand if they're interested in this for their kids for the summer and are thinking about checking it out and, and, and signing them up. Or even if kids saw it, if they see the flyer on Peach Hour, the flyers in school, and, and might be interested in talking to their parents about it, the most important thing is, is it's a summer camp. But as Rachel has been saying all along, they're going to end up learning, but not even realize that they're learning during that. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, and, and these uh, six weeks of camp, at Lysander are half day camps. They're nine to noon and um, they begin July 10th. Um, and the last one ends August 18th. Um, the first one that I wanted to point out, uh, Fort Island, is um, boys only. Okay. And there's a reason for that. As uh, Rachel and I had talked, and, and we've hosted Gems Plus with Leslie Cartier for a number of years. And um, we didn't want to take away from Gems Plus. So if a family has some girls that are going to participate in Gems Plus, Ford Island through Challenge Island uh, gives the boys an opportunity to do their own STEM-based camp. Very nice. Mm-hmm. So then you're not run. <clears throat> so those two camps run at the same time. They're just ones for the girls and ones for like, correct. The boys. And, and, not and Ch- mm-hmm. Challenge Island is at Lysander Park, and of course the Gems Plus is at at Baker High School. Okay. Yeah. And just to piggyback on that, registration is open for that as well. <laughs> <laughs> A little plug in there. That's right. So, yeah, that's right. Um, was there anything else that we didn't cover that you think is important to to kind of share today? Um, I think just, you know, 
check it out. Yeah. Look at the flyers, look at the website page of Challenge Island. Yeah, if you have um, concerns, questions, please reach out. Yeah. You know, um, we want to get as many kids involved as possible. And, you know, we're happy to make that happen in, in any way that we can. Because, um, you know, bringing our program and getting kids involved and, you know, they're going to come out of it having so much fun. And that's kind of the, the biggest push here is making sure that kids are, are having fun getting out. And, um, and yeah, what, what better way to do it than some hands-on projects that they can rip duct tape. I mean, come on, kids <laughs> love tape. They Back do. to the duct tape. Yes, they do. <laughs> you throw slime in there about five years ago, my daughter would have been all over um, it. And we do, and we, we, you know, we're not running a slime camp here. Um, but that's not to say that, you know, if, if the interest is there, that me and me that's haven't right. talked about it, we'll, we'll right. open up another camp. Nah. You know, we, we, we need the interest there, but we, we offer, we have two different slime camps. I mean, wow. and they'll make, they'll make a different slime every day. And then still, you know, the founder has some way incredibly found a way to still let kids make slime, but find a real life connection for them to relate that slime to, you know, you don't think of slime as being any sort of real life connection now, yeah. but you know, you know, they get to learn the chemistry behind it. They're mixing all the materials, the saline solution, the baking soda. They get to see, um, you know, what materials make what kind of slime, fluffy slime, snowball slime, sticky slime, you know. And then what kind of slime doesn't get stuck on the couch? That's the kind of slime that I want. Well, <laughs> we're not making any promises. You know, kids will come home with slime from that camp. Um, we are not held responsible for any damages done after the fact. But <laughs> OK, but. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun. It's, it sounds it's like something, a lot of fun. You know, grab your friends, kids, and you know, find a way to get get the kids there. You know, and um, yeah, we yeah. don't have we no, we don't have register um, residency restrictions for this camp yeah. uh, for any of my camps. Um, some some um, additional fees may apply depending on the on on where it is. But um, for all of these in particular, you know, if you've got your grandkids yeah, for, for the summer, for even these, in a different school district, if, if you can get right. your child there. For Sign these six camps at Lysander Park, um, there's no residency restriction. Yep. Okay. Anybody. Yeah. Well, Anybody. that's good to know too. Grandkids, so people, people come. Yep. Yeah. People um, visiting. Yeah. Friends. Mm -hmm. Sign them up, you know, get a hold of me. <laughs> well, it sounds fun. I mean, and I like the fact that it's nine to noon because I'm sure the other parents out there, if the kid starts off with a fun morning like that, the rest of the day, they're just kind of energized and they're looking yep. for other things, yep. things to do. So even the time of it, I think, is a great time yeah. for the, yeah. the camps. So, yeah. Well, I, I appreciate it. My, I'm None of my kids are under the age of 14 anymore, but um, but I look forward to hearing the feedback Absolutely. Um, of how yeah. they go. And, and I'm Come sure it's something it to see. Yes. Yeah. I, might, I might pop in. I'm kind of curious Please. on the, the island tube fever, and I'd like to take a road trip. So yeah, you, might, no. you might see me. Please. I, I will <laughs> add that our Harry Potter camp is almost full. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, but there's lots to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> so for sure, for sure. But um. Nice. Yeah, well, thank you for your time. Fun. And Kevin, thank it's always you. nice to see you. Absolutely. But, um, thank you, thank you so much you for having me. a great me. job of promoting this, and I'm sure it's going to be a success. So. Yeah, thank you very much. I will have it uh, the link on this post for anybody that's still watching with us. And then, um, and if you know kids that would uh, appreciate it, send them over to the Parks and Recs uh, website so they can get that information. Everybody enjoy your day, and thanks again. Thank, thank you. you. Bye.